In this video, I'm going to show you the best podcast editing tool for beginners, and I promise it's going to blow your mind. Now, if you're a busy entrepreneur like me, you cannot be spending hours editing your podcast. And that is why I want to introduce you to an amazing, super simple tool called Riverside and show you how you can get your podcast episode edited in three simple steps. Make sure you watch this video until the very end because I also have a bonus tip for you. So let's dive in. Click on the link down in the description to open up Riverside and you can either get started completely for free or you can use code VENDI15 to get 15% off all the paid plans. Once you're inside, you can either upload your episode under here or you can select it from your library. And this time I'm gonna edit the episode with Joe. When you click inside of the episode, you're going to see a button, create new edit. And this is where the magic is going to start. Now, the first thing I love inside of the editor is that the speakers are color coded. So when we look at the timeline below, you can see that I'm in purple asking the questions and Joe is in green answering them. And step number one for you is to trim and correct your transcript. What makes Riverside super easy to use is that you can edit it as a Word document. So typically towards the beginning of our episode, we're doing some introductions, we're saying hello to our guest, and I tend to cut that part out because it's not that fun for your listener to watch it. So you can just select that area and click this button, delete. And what we're gonna see happen here at the bottom of the timeline is that it basically got grayed out. Whatever you deleted is grayed out in your timeline and you can even hide it from your text here as well. And again, if at any point you wanna bring it back, you could unhide it and I could also just reselect this whole thing and say, okay, I want to restore it. Though in this case, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Another feature that will speed up your editing is the search function. So if you know there is a specific part in the podcast you wanna edit out, so for example, I'm going to type in chat GPT and click enter, you can see there are 15 parts in the podcast where we're mentioning that. So I could go through it like this one by one, or also if I just zoom out on the timeline, I can see all of the parts where we mentioned that word and I could hop straight to there. And if there are any edits that I wanna do there, maybe a potential part I wanna cut out, again, I would simply select that whole thing and just say either correct or delete, okay? And I'm gonna say delete this time. Now, just in case you're wondering, what does it mean to correct something? You would typically do this when you have one or two misspelled words. So for example, I'm gonna select this word right here, which is actually a tool, click correct, and then this is how I want it to be spelt. And I can either say correct once or correct everywhere, meaning anywhere else in the podcast where we're mentioning this tool, it's going to be now spelt the way we want it to be spelt. And the last thing I want you to do at this step is head over to Magic Tools and click Remove Silences. So again, Riverside will scan through your entire episode and remove any unneeded silences. And you know this has happened if you zoom into the timeline and can you see these grayed out gaps over here? That means those silences have been automatically extracted. Okay, my love, so step number two for you is going to be playing with captions and the layout. So if we head back over to Riverside, at the top over here, you can actually change the dimensions for your entire podcast episode. So you could make it square or, well, that's actually vertical. <laughs> you could also make it square though. Of course, when we have the full length episode, we do want it to be horizontal as it is by default. And then if you head over to layout over here, you can now play around with the positioning of both speakers. So what do I mean by this? By default, it has the grid view, which I personally actually love a lot. Though, what you could also select is picture in picture, meaning the active speaker is going to be in full screen and the supporting speaker in the upper right hand side and vice versa. So let me just demonstrate this for you. So right now I am talking and I keep talking over here. And then if I hop to Joe, you're going to see it will automatically switch. So again, this is not something you have to do manually. Riverside will do all of this for you. Now it's time to have even more fun. And with one single click, you can actually add captions to your podcast by clicking on this little button and simply selecting the style of the captions that you prefer. So let's go with this one and you can actually change how they are looking. So you can change the font, you can make them larger, you can make them smaller, whatever really resonates with you. Also, you can change the color, just input your own brand colors by copy and pasting the hex code in here. And again, you have captions on your entire podcast episode ready in a couple of seconds. One more quick thing you can do on your layout is upload your logo. So if we head over to brand over here, click add logo, and we can simply select the logo that we wanna display on this episode. It has uploaded, by default is in the upper left-hand side corner. And again, we could take it and I could drag this over here if I want it to be at the bottom. So as simple as that. 
And the last step, step number three for you is to add chapters and splits. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, let me show you right now. When you edit your podcast, you can actually mark down different chapters. So let's say at the very beginning, we typically start with the intro. And if I click over here and click add chapter, you can see this new chapter pop up at the top. And if I click the three dots, click rename, I can rename this very quickly intro. Then as I continue with the editing, I listen to it. At some point, we're probably discussing the next topic. So let's say at this point, I can click add chapter. It appears as new chapter. And again, I can double click it and I can actually rename it to be how to use AI. And let me quickly go through the entire podcast and show you what happens then. All right, so I have finished applying chapters. You can see here at the bottom of the timeline that it's very easy for us to see different sections of the episode. So who writes a better copy? How smart is AI? How to prompt AI? Different AI models. So you can now easily orient yourself and know exactly where you are in the episode. And what makes this even more fun is that you can actually grab this entire chapter over here and reorder it. Okay, so this entire part where we were talking about how to prompt AI, I might choose I want to have it at the beginning of the podcast, not at the end. So again, this entire part that I labeled as how to prompt AI got moved. So let me show you this one more time. I'm literally just taking this and dragging it exactly where I want it to be in the podcast. So chapters is one way of reordering your episode, or you could also very easily click over here and introduce a split. So this clip now got split into two. And again, I could literally drag and drop it to wherever I want it to be. Or of course, you can always head back to your transcript and select the entire part you want to move. So for example, I could say cut this out, right? I'm cutting it from there and I might choose to paste it over here. And again, I click the three, three dots and I click paste. So it's super easy for you to move bits and pieces of the podcast to make sure the flow is exactly as you want it to be. Now, I promised you a bonus tip. So let me show you how you can add a trailer and an ad roll to your podcast. If at any point in your podcast, you want to insert an ad or even a simple call to action for people to subscribe to your channel, it's so easy to do. So let's hover back to our timeline. And over here, if I click this plus icon, you can see that I can either upload a video or I can select my own recordings from Riverside. And I have actually recorded a little ad roll for myself where I am asking people to subscribe to my channel. You can now see a completely different color. This is now in blue. And if we click play on this, you can see that this ad has been now inserted and even transcribed. So I'm basically saying, hey, if you're enjoying this episode, could you please do me a massive favor and hit subscribe? So you can see how easy it is to add any additional media to your podcast. And of course, you can always trim it where needed. So it looks like we really need to trim the ending over here to be perfect. So this is great. And similarly, if you wanted to add an intro to your podcast, we could just simply go at the beginning of the timeline and you can see this plus button over here and the same thing. You can either upload your own file over here or just simply select it from your Riverside recording. So again, you could record your intros, outros, your ad rolls within Riverside, and then you select it from here and you can easily insert bits and pieces wherever needed. There you have it, my love. Podcast editing can truly be effortless. And I also want to give a big shout out to Riverside for sponsoring this video and offering you a super special and yummy deal. So again, use code VENDY15 to get 15% off all the paid plans on Riverside and start playing around with this amazing tool. If you found this video helpful, could you please please do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. We have a goal of hitting 100k subscribers on YouTube by the end of 2024 and I could so appreciate your help with this. Now, if you want to learn how to instantly create short form clips from your podcast using Riverside, you definitely also want to check out this video next where I break that down step by step. So again, thank you so much for being here and I'm going to catch you in that next video. Bye.